Extension Beef Specialist Rick Rasby joined us last week to update calving progress in Nebraska and recommendations for record keeping during the season. This week, Rick outlines another aspect farmers and ranchers might want to look at after cows calve. And one of the things that uh, producers might think about recording this calving season is, uh, is teat and udder confirmation. Um, that's one of the um, uh, traits that we typically don't take a hard look at, but it would be good to take a look at those kinds of things uh, uh, during calving season or at least uh, close after calving. In fact, the time that you would want to teat and udder score cows is somewhere around at least by 24 hours after calving. You know, you think about the importance of, uh, of teat and udder confirmation, you know, that's where the calf is going to get that milk and, and good confirmation is important. Uh, long, pendulous kinds of udders and teats uh, uh, really uh, are a detriment really to, uh, uh, to that calf. Uh, anything that, uh, that might hang fairly low, drag in the mud, uh, that kind of contamination from a herd health standpoint is not, not very good. Uh, BIF, Beef Improvement Federation, has put together a standard uh, for teat and udder uh, scoring, a one to nine system. Uh, and where one is uh, from a teat and udder confirmation uh, that you wouldn't want to have in your, in your cow herd. Nine is from a teat and udder confirmation standpoint is, is very good. As I take a look at most cow herds, uh, at least in Nebraska, you know, teat and udder confirmation can vary quite a bit. And uh, most of them that I see probably would score somewhere into that uh, for teats, uh, somewhere in that five to six range and, and probably on the average, uh, uh, same thing for the udder confirmation as well. As you take a look at teat and udder confirmation and you take a look at cattle uh, that you're trying to score, again, you'd want to score them probably the best time to score teat and udders probably by 24 hours after calving because that's when you really get a good indication of, uh, of teat and udder confirmation. The more uh, symmetric that you have from a, a teat standpoint is important. Uh, really those teats that are maybe more balloon shape uh, uh, are ones that you probably want to try to avoid. Uh, from an udder confirmation standpoint, those udders that have uh, high attachment in the rear that basically hold that udder above the hawk is probably pretty important as well. And so as you take a look at uh, teat and udder confirmation, small uh, symmetric teats uh, would be um, uh, ac acceptable and desirable. Uh, again, four quarters that are shaped uh, fairly uniformly. And, uh, and again, hang above the hawk as compared to below the hawk would be pretty important as well. And so that's how you would score uh, teat and udders available at the university. We also have uh, uh, teat and udder confirmation in a uh, form that uh, you can basically throw this on your dashboard. It goes through the teat and udder confirmation uh, scoring system that's been approved by, or at least taken a look at by BIF. Uh, the other thing that we have, we've developed a, an app that you can actually uh, download into, it's a mobile app, you can uh, download into your um, iPhone or Android and it goes through the teat and udder scoring uh, system. Um, it also has a guide there that if you aren't familiar with teat and udder scoring, we have teat and udder scored some cows uh, that you can practice uh, uh, doing uh, using that particular system. And then you can go out and, and teat and udder score your cows. It gives you the opportunity to take pictures uh, of the uh, teat and udders on your cow herd. You can basically compare that back to a standard that we have and, uh, and you can store that and you can save that. Um, it's amazing that uh, maybe uh, if you get down the road and you need to do some culling uh, fairly deep uh, come this fall, uh, maybe you have to uh, cull not only cows that have uh, low productivity, but going back and maybe taking a look at teat and udder confirmation at calving time uh, may be uh, an indicator of, uh, or maybe some of those cows you might consider calling uh, at weaning time.